Welcome back to Life in Sujo. I'm Shannon and today's video is going to be about a survival guide here in Sujo for grocery shopping. So there is a lot of different stores here in China. So this is a market more traditional where you can have a fresh fruit and fresh vegetable but you have also a convenience store and you also have all the imported product that you can find like if you are at home. So today my friend is going to visit and I decided to make him a salad, pasta and a steak and I also need to get him some snack and some drink. So here is my list and we are going to groceries. It's a cheaper market compared to the price in supermarket and you can have really, really cheap food. So basically everything arrives here in the morning so you can be like assured that everything is fresh. So let's go. So basically even like the eggs are really good to buy here, it's really fresh, it's from the morning. You can also buy fresh seafood and fish. So here you can buy some meat, you can have pork or chicken, but for tonight I want an Australian steak, so basically we're going to have to go to the imported supermarkets. So basically this is a traditional uh, stand for the Chinese market. So basically they give you like a basket and you're going to put your vegetable inside. And here in China you have like a lot of different types of vegetables that sometimes you don't recognize. For example this, my friend told me it was an eggplant, but I never saw an eggplant like this. So yeah. And I need the lettuce. Oh, it's over there. This looks good. And basically after you choose everything, you can see that the price are all here. And you can pay based on the screen. So I'm gonna give my basket to the lady and then I will pay on the screen. And I will pay with my phone, I'm gonna show you how. So as you can see, it's pretty cheap. It's like basically almost like one dollar. Uh, almost everything for my salad. I almost forget the avocado. So let's go. So yeah, I think this one is good because on the other shop it wasn't. It was still green. So I guess this one was fine. And it's from Peru. Oh, so I have everything for my salad for tonight. So remember that this market have everything uh, from fruit, vegetables, fish, and you can have every meat. So it's really convenient and you should definitely come here if you need something to make a dinner. So now I need to go to the supermarket now to buy some snack. So let's go. So here we are, that's the biggest supermarket here around Campus. So here you're gonna find a lot of Chinese different brands and it's here that we're going to buy some snack and see what else I can find. Here you have a lot of different Chinese brands that, to be honest, I don't know. But you can also find the, the brand we are used, for example, in Europe. So it's just gonna be a little more expensive, but we have a lot of flavor that we are not used, so those cucumber flavor in Lay's, I don't recommend it to be honest, but let's take the American classic flavor. Here it's kind of special, it's kind of unique, I never saw it before. It's, you take everything you want here, you have a plastic bag that you can take, and once you finish to take all the snacks you want, you just go and you weight it with, uh, with someone and then you just pay for the weight of the snack you want. Here you have a lot of different snacks uh, that you can also find in the convenience store, but of course here you have more choice of flavor. And my favorite still stay this one because it's like super thick, super chocolate. I love it. Um, same here for like you have like really really weird flavor that you don't find anywhere like for example real sweet flavor like I never saw that before so let's try it 
So sometimes we have promotion and today the promotion is like if you buy noodles they're going to give you a bowl for 15 kwai so it's pretty fair. If you just arrive here in Tujo, you can find here some bed sheets, you can find tower, you can even find underwear and you forgot your underwear at home. So it's really convenient if you have an emergency and if you're just new and you don't know where to find anything. So as you can see, we found the snacks here, so it's really convenient if you want some snack and everything, but you can't find everything. And there is a lot of product that we are used to back home that you won't find here. So we basically need to go to an important store. So here we are, guys. We are here to find some Australian stay. So here is one of the few locations here in Suzhou where you can have those uh, foreigners supermarket. So each of it are is on style. You can find a lot of different brands, so you really need to check out every location here to find something that you're craving or something that you're really used to. And so now let's find some good steak. Here you have all the instant noodles you can find. So you have from Singapore, from Japan. Here you have all the imported rice from Asia if you need to do a special dishes. Here you have uh, still noodles, but that time from Korea from Thailand and everything. So here you can find everything you need in cans. So basically like a brand from all over the world. And I need some tomato sauce for the pasta tonight. So I'm gonna take this one, which is like an Italian brand. So here you have all the imported snacks. So basically you have uh, from Britain, for Britain, you have Italy, Italian chips, you can find a lot of different types of uh, snacks. The thing is like it's gonna be more expensive than Chinese snacks, but it will still be okay if you just like, you can go for Chinese snacks, except if you really would like one of your brands from home. Here basically you can have, like if you want to refund the, the taste of home, you can have a lot of sauce. You can find, for example, Barilla for your pasta. Uh, you can even find those curry sauce. So basically this one, this one is pretty good and it's only like 18, so it's, it's still okay. Like even for China price, it's still okay. And here you have all the oil and especially like uh, those kind of oil are really expensive, but it's still organic. So if you want to cook organic food at home, you can here. You just come here and take those kind of food. So here you have a lot of imported meat that you can find. So it's really convenient if you want the same thing at home. And that's what we need for tonight for the Australian steak. So here you have all the important pasta and for tonight I think I'm gonna go for this one. So one spinach with wasabi. Okay, let's go home. Almost got everything. I just need to buy a drink. So basically we're going to come here. It's a convenience store that you have at every corner. It's a really popular thing here in Asia and you're gonna find a lot of things. So come with me. China, most of the drink you can see here doesn't have sugar. So basically it's really more healthy for you. It's sugar free. So I'm just gonna take two. I'm gonna take green tea and some, some fruit tea. So here we are guys, we finished today. I have everything I need for tonight. So basically today we went to a lot of different groceries to show you where you can have different type of food. So if you want imported goods, if you want fresh vegetables, if you just want to go to the commodity shop, everything I show you, I hope it's gonna help you and if you like this video please share it and subscribe to this channel and so now i'm gonna cook and i see you later bye bye